Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Finland's number one golf course. I thought... I can't imagine everyone's been here to be fair. I thought James did have something to say there, he normally does. But uh, So we're out here with Tacomo Golf, but we're going to do some course management on the fourth hole here at Linna Golf. So it has held some great events, some big winners, Nicholas Colsarts and... Lucas Beauregard. Lucas Beauregard. And Weissberger and Ernst Wiesberger. So the hole today, if James pans around, we can see it's an uphill hole, very tree-lined, very Woburn-esque, very much the Berkshire-esque. Yeah. And we're going to be looking here today at, if you've got a course planner, which we have, but nicely here, we've got the hole in front of us. So things that we want to look at off the tee, if we were stood on the tee box, is where the bunkers are placed. The hole, we're going to be playing from the white, so it's 350 yards, 324 metres give or take. So it's not a long hole, but because it's uphill, what I see a lot of times is people try and give it that a little bit more. They think I've got to hit it harder because it's uphill, it's going to play a lot longer. Whereas we just need to stick to our game plan, see where if we can carry the bunkers, we can go for that. If we can't carry the bunkers, then we need to play safe and then have a shot into a green that is 19 meters long. So a pretty big green for a short hole. So let's go on the tee. So Chris, are you a big fan of these? Obviously you don't get to use these on tour, but when you do come and play vacation golf, you generally get them. Yeah, that's it. So we can really use this to our advantage. So we can see for me to carry the last bunker, we're looking at 239 yards. So I should, famous last words, should be able to easily carry that with the driver. So again, if you're somebody who can't carry that distance, we can look at on here, playing to the left, we can play a 220 yard shot or you might come a little bit further back and play a 200 yard shot and try and avoid the trouble. We can see the bunker on the left is a long way left. However, James may find that. Probably, the way it's been going. But if you haven't got the screens, but you have got a Bushnell or a range finder, use your range finder, start picking out where you need to be carrying the golf ball. Because people always go with, well, I hit my driver 260 yards. That might be the case but it might be landing at 220, which on this occasion will go straight into that bunker. So think about your carry distances. If you do go to the driving range, a trackman driving range, a top tracer range, then do work on your carry distances, not your total distance, because that's what's going to be the main thing, especially hitting into greens or hitting over hazards. We need to know how far the ball is going through the air, not in total. So you can just tell everyone in the pub how far you hit it at total. Right, so I'm going to aim just up the right half of the fairway. Nice. So up the right half, little draw, held onto the fairway. So one big thing I see here on the uphill shots is they try and hit it hard. We then get it sliced into the left or we get the slice into to the, the left. left slice into the right or a quick one to the you left do not want to be in there either so like i do say on most of these videos is swinging balance take your feedback from your finish if you have carved one out to the right or hooked one to the left hold your finish position and start to see are you in balance where is the club where is your weight and that's going to help you decide why you might get that shot and then on the next hole or the next shot hopefully it's not a provisional you're then able to adjust swing within yourself, get better contact, a better start line, and better scores. Chris, out of interest, we are playing from the white tees today, because they're the tees that we will enjoy it more from. Yes. What about people who want to go all the way back there to the black tees, the tall tees, the professional tees? Again, think about how far you're hitting the ball, that will bring in more trouble, it'll make it a longer round. I, nobody likes to play slow golf, is it gonna make it not enjoyable. Play from the tees where you're going to be able to make some birdies, but you're also going to struggle on a few holes. We've had a par five that we hit two good drives on and we couldn't reach the green still, and that's playing from the whites. If we'd have then gone... And a 200-yard par three. And a 200-yard par three, and that's playing from the whites. Whereas if we'd have gone back on those holes, we're playing shots that maybe you're not going to do at your golf club, you're not going to enjoy it as much, you're going to try and, you're going to try and hit things harder, and then we all know the swing starts to go. What a fantastic looking hole. And oh, there a good is a drive ball. for a change. What a good drive. In the fairway. And if we look to the right there, because I picked the correct line off that, I might not have carried that bunker. Even though it's downwind, wasn't the best struck. 
Start line was good. I've left myself a good angle into the green. And what you'll see is even if you're further back there, you've got a better angle into the green. The more we go to the right, the more we're going to have to hit out of the bunker. And it's not the favorite shot of anyone. So we have got 114 yards downwind. So now we've got to think about how's the wind going to It's not going to spin as much, Christopher. It's not. And what you'll see a lot of the times is when you're playing and you're downwind, is the ball will get knocked out of the air. So it knocks it down doesn't always carry. So on these ones, it's making sure that we've got enough clubs. It's a little bit uphill as well, so I've got to take that into consideration. Although I could get there with a 52, I'm going to go pitching wedge. So guys, we're going to go pitching wedge, like I said there, but the main thing now is trusting that shot. So don't try guiding it in from here. We're in a position now where we should be looking for trying to get the ball as close as possible not just thinking anywhere on the green will do because we then quickly turn a very easy hole 350 yards into a tough hole we make a bogey and then we're pushing for the rest of the round so commit to your shot i'm going to go straight at the flag oh so pretty good contact started a little bit right but again, I've used a club there where I felt a little bit more comfortable. I'm not trying to jump on a 52 and then the wind knock it down and it doesn't quite get there. And then I've got a tricky chip. And again, we turn that into a very tough hole. So I will go and collect my divots and we'll have a pull. Okay, so we are out here, like I've said, in Finland. And you'll see from the divot there, soft ground. So contact is key when you're playing on a golf course. If you've had a bit of rain in your country or in the UK, ground gets a little bit soft if you've had a bit of rain at UK. Say, a bit of rain in the UK <laughs> well yeah of course but you need to be aware there of if you're trying to go a little bit harder hit shots harder what you're going to find is that you're then going to change your low point we might catch some more shots heavy we might not get the contact we might not get the spin might not get the flight that we want so we need to make sure that we're thinking about the right club for that shot if we can swing a little bit more in in ourselves so we take a little bit of swing we go a three-quarter swing instead of a full shot we're then going to be able to control our low point better and get better contact I just realized i was on the edge of danger there on the greens here at Linna golf as we've been told obviously they've had a tough winter they've had a lot of snow a lot of ice and the greens aren't as fast they're normally around about 10 10 and a half on the stimp round about eight so one big thing you need to be aware of when you are playing on slower greens if you're playing in the uk in the winter then you'll know you're going to get slower greens so the ball's not going to break as much and so we need to be aware when we're reading the greens we need to take that into account the harder we hit the ball the less break it will take and then in the summer when we do get to your fast greens your tens your elevens on the stim we're going to then have to be aware the break's going to get higher because we're going to be hitting the putt softer so this one I've read this in the summer I would say this might be just a little bit outside of the hole but today I'm going to go pretty straight because I'm going to be hitting this ball firmer. So again a little bit under pace you'll see if I hit that a little bit firmer that would have stayed on a straight line and probably or maybe gone in the middle of the hole so I'm going to give myself oh, that one. Give James would have given me that one. Give me his on tour. So guys, when you are playing an uphill hole, please be aware, don't try and hit it harder. Don't try and jump on the ball. That's not going to help you. Make sure you've taken into account where you need to be sending the ball, what hazards you need to carry it past. And from there, swing within yourself. Also downwind, guys, with the ball is going to get knocked out of the air. So think about that when you are selecting a golf club. Don't pick something that will just get there because if it does get knocked out, that's going to be short. That could be in a hazard that's going to lead to a bogey on a hole, for example, here for the stroke index 13. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Linna Golf and to Como Golf for having us out here in Finland. And I'll see you again later in the week.